My mom told me that shopping releases endorphins. I don't think I have any more endorphins to release. So I will not be sitting here for long because as you can see, I'm glowing and no, it is not due to pregnancy. I am sweating. Wear your seatbelt, girl. It's people that love you. It's people that care about you. Put the seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on and wear it this way because it is designed to protect you this way. Okay? Why is that F1? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mercedes and I'm not running late. That sounds so good to say. Um, I am about to head out. I'm going to lunch with a friend. We're about to hit up this um, Mexican restaurant and I'm super excited about it. I'm just wearing all black, honestly, girl, because when in doubt, just wear all black. You literally cannot go wrong. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with an all black look. I'm about to put my shoes on and head out the door. And yeah, my glasses are in. Y'all, I've been so thirsty to put these glasses on. I haven't worn them in a little minute. I've been trying to wear these since the last vlog, but today is the day. I get to, yeah, I just feel like when I put these on, like I'm invincible. I feel like that about any sunglasses. So whether they were $1,000 or whether they were $10 from Amazon, I truly feel like my glasses are just like, what did you say to me? You know, like, come again. Whether, like I said, whether they have a designer name here or whether it's from Amazon, that's my glasses just truly make me feel like, you know, invincible. I wish that this coat laid down, but it stays up, but it's okay. We're going to make the best out of it. I still look cute. And yeah, I, what else I was about to say? Oh, I'm shaking the table. Just shake the table. I was like, did y'all remember that episode? I don't even know where that came from. Oh, I think K. Michelle said it, but yeah, she did what she was talking to Carly Bird. This bitch is shaking the table. But I am about to go, girl. So let me call y'all a little later. I'm going to show y'all the restaurant because my friend sent it to me and it looked nice. I've never been there. So I'm going to show it to y'all and I'll call you back. Can you see? Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. I ain't giving out no 90 to no just for fun. Are you dumb? Wait a minute. I don't do nothing. Didn't I say I don't want to be late? But yeah, okay. I love y'all. I'll call you back. Junior Watson, I've been your mother. Junior Watson, I've been your mother. Tell him this. Hey homegirl, so I made it back to the car and I must say that was some really, really good food and I eat out a lot so trust me girl, I would know some good food. I ended up getting quesadillas, it was really good, everything was seasoned well, the shrimp were so fresh but not like... I don't know they didn't taste fishy like it was just really really good the only thing i will say is that the water is not good girl so i did get a cup of ice to go and i had my own water in the car so i was just gonna you know i'm gonna make it do what it do baby but <laughs> y'all it can't just be me who thinks about things that they hear and then just blurts it out like i refuse to believe that i'm the only one that does that but if I am, it's okay. I really don't have too much more to say, girl. The food was good. They say that it's authentic Mexican dining. They have a cute little patio. So if you're in Atlanta, you may want to come check it out. I do not know how to pronounce it. Patria Cocina. Girl. Patria Cocina. That's what I think it says. Don't quote me. If one of my... Hispanic homegirls are watching or if one of my homegirls speaks Spanish Feel free to correct me and like type it out in the comments where you know I can pronounce it girl I'm all for learning new things, but yeah, I'm about to head to Ulta and I don't know maybe Ulta or Sephora. I don't want to go. Let me back up. Let me back up I want a new perfume, but I don't like perfume shopping at the mall because oftentimes I feel rushed and like they're 
you know, I know they're just doing their job, but they they repeatedly ask me, are you okay? Are you okay? Do you like this? Do you like this? And again, I'm not mad because it's, it's your job and I get it. And I'm actually appreciative that you're checking on me. But I am one of those people that thinks there is such thing as checking too much. Like I'm the type of person I like to like smell it a little bit, you know, before I go, because I don't want to take it back. I don't like taking stuff back. So I prefer to just make my ultimate decision there. But a lot of times I feel rushed when I go to places that are like located inside the mall or department stores or Saks. Like, you know, I feel pressured to buy something. I don't feel like being pressured. I just want to shop in my own, you know, girl, I just want to shop in my own speed so I'm about to dang how y'all let me forget to get a straw what kind of homegirls are y'all no I'm just playing it's not y'all fault but yeah girl so I'm about to head out and come on y'all can drive with me y'all oh my god I forgot to tell y'all that I'm still in this daggone rental car Ugh. But my problems could be far worse than what they are. So I'm not mad. My car should be done on Monday and they're supposed to be um, delivering it to me. So let us hope and pray they're for real this time. But wear your seatbelt, girl. It's people that love you. It's people that care about you. Put the seatbelt on. I don't care how, how you think it makes you look. I don't care. Put your seatbelt on. The goal is to arrive alive, put your seatbelt on and wear it this way because it is designed to protect you this way. Okay? <laughs> shopping releases endorphins I don't think I have any more endorphins to release I mean I bought whatever my heart desired today and I really love that for myself I really do um I went to Target I went to Ulta I went to the mall I went everywhere like everywhere and I really love that for myself I, I do y'all I worked really hard like if you don't know my background and I won't be long I promise but if you don't know my background as far as like I've been hustling for a long time y'all I have had a job since I was 16 years old. I'm 28. I started my business when I was like 21, 22. So that's a long time to work, you know? So today was just one of those days where it was like, Mercedes, I'm proud of you. Spend it respectfully. So that's what I did. I'm not gonna show everything I purchased, 
But I do want to talk about some of the things that I saw on TikTok that I got and kind of give like my own, um, what is it? My own opinion on it. So when I went to Target, I just had to try this because let me see, can y'all see it? Look at the skin. It's the skin for me, but hold on, let me show y'all again. I'm trying to zoom in. This girl. Okay, so I must give the TikTok girls their flowers. This stuff smells really, really good. Like, real good. <laughs> like, I can't even describe it to you, but it smells good. So I really like that. Um, what else? What else? Girl, this smells so good. <laughs> like, it smells really good. The TikTok girls did their thing. Now, when it comes to tree hut, I have some tree hut. I never um, smelled this kind. Let me try to zoom in on it. None of this is sponsored yet, okay? But, um, hold on. Yes. This is the scent that I got. It's called the Coco Colada. I think that's how I want to say it's pronounced. This smells really good. I have some other... Oh, I just put the lotion on, so it's going to be a little tough, but... <laughs> yeah, I can't open it. Hold on. Okay, girl, it's just too much lotion on my hand, so I can't get this open. But this scent smells really good. I have the strawberry. I have the watermelon. And I have, I think, just the regular vitamin C. Those are okay. This one, I would have to say, is my favorite. So, yeah, I really like this one. I know the girls on TikTok, they talk about Tree Hut often. And I really like this one. I really, really do. I bought some cotton rounds. Like, this is a whole bunch of stuff right here. I had to buy some more of these, y'all. These are really good. Like, hold on. These little gloves. I replaced them, like, every 30 days. So, it was time for me to get new gloves. So, I did that. Um, I got some new deodorant. It says that there is no aluminum in it, which I know that's a big thing right now. I got the Dove brand. Hold on, girl. So this is the one I got, and it smells really, really good. Like this one, this one is good. Um, it's the cucumber and green tea scent. I really like this. Really, really like it. Um, I got a, I got quite a little bit of stuff, y'all. I went to Target, no list, just vibes, and it was a vibe. So that's pretty much it. And one of my homegirls, um, in my last video asked if I moved. Yes, I moved. And me and my ex were together. We lived one place, and you know, now I live by myself in a new place. Because one thing about Mercedes, with a man, without a man life moves on so i would be okay but yeah girl so that's enough of that i'm so tired i will more than likely just call y'all back tomorrow because i don't see me picking up the camera again tonight i'm supposed to be going to dinner tonight but the way i feel i kind of just want to go to sleep so yeah i will call y'all tomorrow hey girl what's up so it's the same night um, literally only like a minute has passed since I told y'all I was going to call y'all back, but y'all should be used to me saying I'm going to call back and then whatever, girl. Anyways, um, for starters, this is just spring water in a wine glass because that's the life that I live. Hold on, girl. Okay. That's a little better. I will not be sitting here for long because as you can see, I'm glowing and no, it is not due to pregnancy. I am sweating because this robe right here, although it is very comfortable, it is hot. It is hot. I am hot. So I won't be sitting here for long, but I just wanted to kind of test out this little area in my house and I wanted to ask y'all, um, well, first of all, I like how it looks so I know that I'll be filming like some little girl talks right here. So I need a favor. I need y'all to leave me some comments about some topics that you would like to talk about. I don't want to do any story times. Before somebody says, please do a story time, please do a story No, I don't want to do that. I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to bring up the past. The past is in the past for a reason. I don't want to talk about things that I used to do in my life, things that occurred. I'm not at a point where I want to sit down and dedicate an entire video about how I got into an altercation or how I did this or how my job at the strip club was. Like, 
you know, because if you didn't know, I used to be a waitress in a strip club years ago, like years ago. I don't want to talk about that. So sorry for the little rant, but I know a lot of y'all get excited when you see like a setup like this because you, you think story time. And I'm just really not at that point in my life. I'm more so like I'm your sister. And in my story times, my story times were never messy. I always made sure I gave y'all some advice at the end so that way you could be a better you. Like it would never just be, oh yeah, beat her up and leave. Like, or beat her up for no reason. Like, no, my story times were never messy. They were always like a teaching lesson or a learning lesson, should I say. So let me know some things that you may be going through even if you're older than me but if you're younger than me just any advice you feel like you would like i would love to sit down and talk about it or like if you wanted my advice on a certain situation let me know that i have a few topics in mind and also i was talking to a few of my homegirls in the dm and they were asking me advice so i asked them if they feel comfortable with me sharing their story of course i won't share their names or anything and they all said yes they do so i definitely want to touch on their situations because i feel like a lot of my homegirls can benefit from hearing their stories so yeah, girl, just let me know some topics that you're interested in. But yeah, I'm gonna call y'all for real tomorrow because I'm getting tired, so. So yeah, girl, I will call y'all tomorrow for real this time. Hey, homegirl, it's the next day and um, it's a little later in the afternoon right now. I've already done a lot. Um, I did my self-care Sunday. It's also Sunday fun day, but girl, it's really giving stay in the bed all day long. I also cleaned up the house. Y'all, my bathroom is so cute. I'm so excited. Those pieces that I showed y'all in, I think, the last vlog, girl, they came out so fire. Like, my bathroom is everything. So, I'm really excited about that. Um, If I do go out, it'll be much later. But I am probably just going to end the vlog here, girl, because I think we got enough footage and you already know, I don't really like my vlogs to be super long. Um, so yeah, girl, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I love you and I'll call you back in a couple of days, girl. I need a break. Okay. I'm three for three at this point, but I'm gonna call y'all in a couple of days. I promise. I told y'all I was going to be more consistent this year. I promised y'all and to know me is to know I do not break my promises so yeah girl just we locked in <laughs> I love y'all talk to you later bye